Uh, so I already looked at your stats and it looks like you just got into bronze this season. And uh, so you're still going to be getting and losing a lot of MMR throughout the season. Uh, and the season is almost done. The TTS for the new season is already live. So it's going to be like a four weeks, I would say, is left in this season. So it's not a whole lot of time. But you can still climb easily out of bronze. Um, you're in bronze two, I think is what it was. It was either bronze two or three. So what I'm expecting to see is that you rarely drone. There's going to be little communication. Uh, you're not going to try and... It's going to be like five separate 1v5s happening at the same time. And no one wants to play together. Like That's probably the biggest thing uh, that you can do at this point. Uh, if you don't have aim, that's something that you can just fix with T-Hunts. Like just playing like an hour of T-Hunts a day before you play can help improve your aim and make sure that you are on track to learn recoils and learn um, how map layouts work and how operator gadgets work. Like you can test stuff while you're in T-Hunts. Like if you don't know if you can get to a ledge with a Maru, well then you can use T-Hunts to see if you can. Um, so I would recommend doing that. Um, so you didn't say really what your problem was, you just said that you really needed help, so let's see if we can find out what the problem is that as to why you're in bronze. And you're level, I think it was 135, so you have some time under your belt. I'll move this over. Okay, Jackal is a wasted band. I say that every time he's banned, even in high level play, but you know. And this is Canal, so oh whoops, so this is Canal. So you have to understand what you would want to ban, what you wouldn't want to ban. There's not many hatches on Canal that's really needing attention. So Thermite can get the hatches if need be. So Hibana wouldn't be the ideal pick. Lion is better uh, because he can just screw you over. And I've seen this a little bit more in that lower ranks that people are banning Lion more often, which uh, I don't. I'm surprised it isn't in higher ranks that he's banned more often. And then you see the Clash ban, of course. Um, I would recommend trying to steer away from the Clash ban uh, and the Kaid ban, because again, there's no hatches that you really need to get. Um, at this level, on it, like this is the only time that I'm going to say this too. Uh, at this level, if you people aren't communi where people aren't communicating and people don't want to work together, banning Cav is a viable option. You can deal with Clash all by your own zone. You can play Nomad, you can play Gridlock, you can play Zofia, you can play Kali when she comes out. It's really hard to kill Clash with Kali, but you can do it. Or you can just play anyone. You can walk up to her, melee her shield away from her, and then you kill her. Like She's very easy to deal with when you know how to deal with her. Um, it's learning how to deal with that. Um, but, I mean, if people aren't going to work together, then... Yeah, it can work. Uh, another counter easy one is Capitel. Um, I'm pretty sure you have him unlocked, so that's good. Please no mom. <laughs> and we get the Echo Ban. And we get Attack first. I should also like to say before we go any farther i haven't played this season a whole lot i've played it a decent amount but not nearly as much as i usually do so in terms of canal i'm not too in tune with the meta that is set in stone for canal as of right now um i'm more using old canal strats and old canal setups and reworking them a little bit for this new canal and trying to adjust for it um so what I say may not be entirely true. Don't think that everything that I say is 100% you have to do this, but I'm going to give you suggestions as to how I would play it out myself. So keep that in mind as we're going forward. And it is also a relatively new map. Uh, they changed a lot with it, but they still kept the same basic idea for it. Excuse me. Alright, then we can go forward here. We got Thatcher, Blitz and Gridlock. Need to use your drone to locate a bomb. So what we're doing here is we're just trying to find where the objective is and then take our drone either to where we're going to enter 
or to our spawn so we can pick it up right when we spawn in. So we know they're not on this half of the map. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and we know they're upstairs, so we could call to our teammates, go on chat and say, hey, they're upstairs. And then right now, yep, we should just take our drone back to spawn, so that, or as close to it as we can, and just pick it up when we get outside. There you go. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defeat it. Good use of the new tunnel. You're one of those operators now that you should not die when you first spawn in. We should look for the default cam to our right, just to verify that someone shot out. We aren't doing that, so they could be having free information on us right now. Simply knowing that there's a Thatcher on the board gives them information as to what you guys are going to do. We still haven't looked for it. I still haven't looked for it. I'm all set. Throwing up smoke. I'd recommend putting the claymore here. Putting the claymore like right back here. That way if they impact the door, they won't destroy the claymore and they can't get an angle on it from stairs back here. Because you could probably, if you're hugging the wall, you could probably shoot that. Uh, and it looks like you might be picking it up right here. Yep. Oh, misclick. <laughs> There, that's a little bit better. Still should probably have it a little closer to the door, because then it's harder for the blast radius. So it looks like you are communicating. Um, I don't know what you're using for recording this. Uh, try and test some recordings out if you want to do this again. Um, but test your recordings out to see why you aren't getting your audio picked up. Make sure you have your mic set in correctly because a lot of, if you're communicating well, well then that tells me that you should climb fairly easily. Um, but if you aren't communicating well, then that can be a reason for why you're so low uh, in MMR. But I can't really comment on your communication. I can say, oh, hey, you, you made a call out, but I don't know if you just said, oh my God, that was a fucking headshot or blah 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 is in server room behind the bomb like i have no idea what you're gonna say so it's not gonna be entirely Stay useful for me. Me. and we should be with our blitz trying to support him there well oh no he's outside never mind Yeah, you have to repel down. You could probably just jump there, yep. Good that you know this repel, but we still haven't looked for the camera behind us to see if someone took it. A little slow on our reaction time there. Good job. We should also call out who we killed. Um, not only like should we call out when we or die and where the positions of the people that killed us, but we should also call out who we killed because then I can tell our teammates where people might be. Because say that IQ was over there and she was fighting a vigil, and then all of a sudden you say you killed vigil. Well, then that tells her it's a little bit safer for her. Um, just letting people know who you killed can help you a lot. Okay, now you're getting spotted, so the default cam is still off. Because they don't have any information, informational cams, it seems getting like. Iconic. Still getting spotted. See, see, this is like a big problem right here. Um, but I can tell you right now, uh, in bronze, the, they never look at that camera until right when you're getting spotted. Uh, in higher levels, they will be on those cams within the first five seconds of the round and stay on those cams if you do not shoot them. 
they would have free information as to where you were. They would have called out that you which repel you were on. Oh my goodness. They would have called out which repel you were on. They would have called out that Thermite was down, that you were picking him up, and that's a free two kills right there. So you have to get these default cams immediately. Like, even if someone shoots it, just verify that it's shot. Good job on killing the bandit, being overly aggressive. So right now, what I would do, I would sit right here, drone in. You're up 3-1. There's no reason whatsoever that we wouldn't be absolutely positive as to the positioning of our remaining. alibi and actually we can't do that because we don't have any time um i would say be better uh before we continue because it looks like you're pro it's either going to be a clutch win or there she's going to kill you while you're trying to plant um but try to use your drone more effectively you saved your drone you have two but we just never use them at all um like, we used it to figure out where they were at the beginning, and then that was it. We wasted a lot of time trying to get people together, trying to do this and that. Like, while you're waiting for Thermite to come over, and you're sitting on that repel, you could be droning, figuring out the positions of everyone. Because if you know where people are, and what people are doing, then that just makes it easier. Um, right now, you're just running in because it's 15 seconds left, and you have no idea what's happening. Also, we should plant behind the shield. No reason to not plant behind it because then we get more cover. Five seconds left. We're just sticking our head out waiting to die. Shooter is online and active. I don't know if you'd be able to get the angle. Yeah, you can. Never mind. And if you planted it, oh. I'm back up a little bit here. If you had planted it behind the shield, she would have had a harder time to get to it because then she has to be in this little gap that you're looking at right here. She can be probably a little bit behind and possibly get it. Um, I don't know about that for sure, but it is possible there. Call it out. Like, okay. I heard that immediately. I'm pretty sure you did too. So if we go back here. Yeah, it's ticking down. So it seems like you overreacted a lot. Um, you swung your, you went left and right for your leaning. Just be calm about it. And if you think that you missed the shot, just repel down. Just hit shift, repel down. She can't kill you then. She knows you're there. She has to kill you. You can just stand up and try to kill her when she tries to defuse, and you just waste her time at that point. Like, if you try to take the gunfight to the fullest, like what you did there, well, then you have the more potential to die, as we can see clearly by you dying. Um, but you should definitely, like, if you miss your first shots, retreat. Get the hell out of there. The advantage is you. You have time on your side now. And then immediately we should say on defuse, on defuse, because we hear it through IQ. And she doesn't know that he's defusing it. And we didn't call out where he killed us from. Like, as we're shooting her, like, this is more difficult to do. Um, but as we're in a gunfight with someone, we should call out where they are. Like, alibi, uh, what would that be? Closet. Alibi server closet. Like, say that. Plus, she knows. Uh, she does not have it though. That was very lucky. That was very lucky on your part. Hostile bomb defused. Mission successful. Like this is one of those rounds where the defense they would run. They should run this site again because they know they can win. Because it came down to time, like very minimal time that they had, and they were peaking pretty stupid too. Wait, did you fast forward the time there? No, I, no, I just cut out on the sound. Oh, do I not even have sound? Oh, nope, I do, okay. I'll go ahead here.
found a bomb. Right, we have Think no idea located. where they are. Oh, no, we do. They're upstairs again. Good job taking our drone out. See, this is wasting time. Like, this is flat out wasting time. Put your drone somewhere that's going to be useful later on in the round. You could have kept it on main stairs, like, uh, just putting it below. Uh, if we look here. Five seconds. So we could just take it and put it down these stairs. That way it's right next to where we were last time and where we're probably going to push again. And then we can just go with our team right away instead of trailing it all the way back to where we are. Like this, yeah, like there's no point in doing this at all. This spawn as well, you can get all three default cams outside without having to really put yourself in a vulnerable position. So I would learn to get those, like literally just check, like check to make sure that they're gone. Because last round, you almost died because of, because of it. Yeah. So now almost a third of the round is gone and we just picked up our drone. Bring it all the way back to spawn almost. And we aren't checking to see if the cam is destroyed or not, the default cam. We're just walking up. We're doing the exact same thing again. Reload! Drone is active. Just like you. It looks like you're trying to communicate something to him. I have no There's idea. There's a Jaguar here. It looks like he's coming up now. Kill someone. I, I think it was Jaeger. I don't know what that Claymore was from the map, but okay. I think for, um... I'm surprised I didn't bandage with that. Okay, right, so right here, this is like the perfect point. Like you should repel down, and if you had your drone at the bottom of main stairs, you can just drone it out, figure out what's happening. Or since we have our drone right now, we can throw it over the edge, throw it in here, figure out what they're doing, communicate that to our team, and then go from there. Sitting here, looking at the breach, just waiting for someone to peek us is wasting time because that's exactly what they want you to do because if they're good players they aren't going to peek you so we're just wasting time just wasting time we know where he is so we should call out control room or is that monitor no that's monitors that's old Cover the diffuser. Yo, there's a smoke, there's a smoke right there. Smoke right there. Beautiful. The diffuser has been secured. I'm on that ham. See, like, we're just sitting here looking at this. We have no idea where anyone is. Do you know where the last two people are? We know one's a smoke. And I'm pretty sure the last one's like a dock or a rook. It's probably going to be a rook because it's low elo and they keep everyone picks the same operators over and over again. But there's 30 seconds left, less than 30 seconds left. Do you have any idea where these two people are? Because I don't. Uh, this is the point at which I would say you should drone. Like this is your last chance to drone is this last 30 seconds. And we're probably not going to, just going to walk in and die. Or we're going to walk in and kill them and get lucky. That's too right, too right. There's a rook as well. Hey, so there you go, it's a rook. Five seconds remaining. You located a bomb. Friendly last off One down. standing. Diffuser is active. Protected at all costs. Got the diffuser on. He... This is gonna sound mean, but he honestly looks like he came from console because of the way he moves. Um, that was a 
poor round on your guys' part. No one was droning. You guys just walked in and died. You had no idea where anyone was. And if you had droned and knew that Rook was playing in that corner, you could have pre-fired him, killed him, and then you wouldn't have to worry about it. Because you were looking around, you're looking everywhere at every which angle without any idea of what's going on. And you're just crossing your fingers at that point that you have a better reaction time than the enemy. When the enemy is already looking at the angle that they need to, you're checking every angle as you walk through. All right, we'll continue on here. So now we know they're downstairs. And they have a mirror as well. Here, actually, go back, see how much we can actually listen. Mirror. 10 seconds. Five seconds. All we got is that there's a mirror in there. Your mission is to locate and defuse a bomb. I got it. What would be the point of doing this? Like, you're already safe if you pick up your drone there. Um, or you can just put your drone in a safe spot inside. And then you can just use it there. Makes it quicker. Because so far you've saved your drone. Like, I will say this. You're doing a good job of saving your drone, but you're just not using it afterwards. So you save it, step one. Step two is using it. If you die with both of your drones on your body, and you had time to drone, then you wasted utility. This is the first time that we checked to see if that cam was destroyed. We should do that every single time. Now we know Jaeger's in bathroom. Those are her his sneakers. See you around. So right here, like take our drone, drone it out. Figure out where people are. I guess there are because right now we know that there's probably someone in bathroom, so we should watch that angle. There might be smoke in a hallway, so we should watch that angle. But we have no idea if someone broke this wall over here. There's a hole in it, and they're looking through that, and that's where smoke got us through, or smoked it off through. Uh, so drone, figure out where they are, figure out if you have to look to your left or not, and then continue from there. Activating presence reduction. Or pick a new spot to go in at. Reloading. Yeah, right now, we're just wasting time. There we go. Now it looks like we're actually going to drown. We didn't fully see it there. Is. There we go. So we know there's a mirror over there. I will say we probably got off our drone a little too soon. Um, we go back here. Oh no, there's some thermite in bathroom, so we know that's good. Okay, Rook's in there. Okay, yeah. Fair enough, continue. Oh, they're ready. not in bathroom. So, yeah, we did not drone out bathroom. I even thought that Thermite was in there, but he was not. It looks like it, which is probably why you didn't drone it. But verify, I would say, at that point, uh, just to be sure. Um, even, like, right away, initially, I thought, well, why haven't you drone bathroom? Because if you think about it, Jaeger was in bathroom. If thermite's in there, then there should be someone dead. Oh my goodness, why does it keep doing this? Someone, like, one of these people should be dead if he's actually in bathroom. Because you can't just get in there for free. Um, or he even has some health taken out, and he has no health taken out. So, being aware of that going on would help. And then we saw that, and we instantly get off our drone and just jump down. And we'll look away. Looks like we may be called Smoke Bathroom.
Oh, and he left the game. Oof. Duh. Oh, you guys are lagging. The that's why. Is now secured. Someone's running in place down there too. That was a really bad hit second a leg right there. Ten seconds left. Yeah, at that All point it's just eliminated. run down and hope you kill someone. If you don't then you gave it your best. <laughs> so yeah, one person back. Okay, the other person did get back. Maybe. Mira, do I reinforce this? Five seconds. Bomb located by Op 4. ABS deployed and ready to go. Wait, this is not a good Mira. Oh, so, okay, I'll let you finish deploying it. Maybe? Okay. Good. <laughs> He's gonna try and claim more of you. Probably should have thrown that a little bit sooner, because you could have either killed Thermite or at least destroyed the uh, gun. So now, I don't think you did. Also, it looks like your sensitivity is just a bit too high. You're kind of, you're doing this with your mouse. You're kind of like shaking around a lot. You should try and keep it as smooth as possible when you're moving around. If you're not smooth when you're moving, then you need to lower your sensitivity. It should not be shaky like this. Uh, so just something I noticed. Um, also, you have not called that they opened up the wall. Be pretty useful to know that the wall site is open because you're the only one on site right now. Still haven't said anything. We're just sitting and waiting. One friendly opera. Yeah, there you go. Probably should have destroyed that a little bit sooner, the Vulcan shield. It would have destroyed the Aegir ADS, but it would have stopped them from coming in. And now we make our first call out. I have no idea what it was, but I'm guessing it's something like they're in sight, which doesn't do Jaeger a whole lot of good at this point. No. And now they can use the Vulcan against him. So that's another reason why I wanted you to blow that as Op soon as you could. Because it, if it stops them, that's good. But if it stops your teammate, that's worse. And then we're going to see. Yeah. And the audio keeps cutting in and out as well. Yeah, good job on picking a different site. Um, that was... I don't want to say the worst way that you could have defended that, but you definitely had a whole bunch of issues that you could not resolve and just saying, okay, let's do this instead. We should not have impacts 
with Maestro, unless we're planning to impact trick a Thermite Wall or a Thermite Charge or a Hibana Charge. Oh, that's what the Bailiff is for? <sighs> Excuse me. The Bailiff is there to open up walls that you need to or open up rotation holes or hatches or whatever. The Impact Grenade is, at this point, is only useful for Maestro if he has to impact trick a wall. It looks like you have not gotten your... I bet you the fifth person, uh, when the first guy left, Secure the bomb. he saw this like, okay, I guess we're leaving now, and then he just immediately left. And they left. Everyone just loves leaving in these lower MMR. But... In all honesty, that should not change how you play. Um, you should be more reserved with reinforcements and more reserved with how you play. But you need to know when to and when not to be aggressive because they knew that you had you were down a person, so they're gonna play more aggressive. As we saw, they took sight and they were just all inside of it. Um, we should also tell our teammates, "Hey, can we get another body on site?" Because they're gonna be aggressive. We also need aggressive roamers, but we need people on site. Looks like we're going to put an evil eye up here. Ten seconds left. Evil I'd almost recommend putting it on the ceiling, or not on the ceiling, on the wall. Five seconds left. Because then it's harder for them to destroy it, basically. Bomb locations are secure. And we took it off. Oh, if only you could deploy it while you're prone. That's not bad of a high place. They may not see it right away, and then you might be able to get a thermite charge. This is risky. I sincerely hope you don't plan on trying to trick that while you're in there, in reception. So now we should... Take note that the only one on site is Legion. We have probably no information on where is that? On uh, Scuba, there you go. I'm trying to remember the callouts for it. The new callouts. No information on Scuba, unless there's a Legion trap there. And we're not gonna hear him hit it, and we don't have the icons for it. Um, last stop standing. Okay, and this Goyo is doing all the work. Now he is. So we should just wait. He's got a minute 40 to pick us all off. Oh, it's IQ. Of course it's IQ. So now she's hit. We shouldn't. I'll just sit and wait. You have a minute 15 to throw this. Don't throw it. So, I mean, at this point, we're just kind of sitting here doing nothing. Look on cam, see if there's any default cams that are up and see if you can get any information on her. Um, if not, then you basically are just a sitting duck for five seconds versus not knowing anything at all. And she's still out there, it looks like. There's a drone on her feet, good job. Reloading, cover me. And she's that lit. <laughs> And it was IQ, no less, that got hit by it. His mistake there 
this is one of those points where you should learn from people's mistakes. His mistake was to basically push the same thing that he's been pushing this entire time. He should have gone over to the windows that were down over here, possibly, but a better option would have been to go all the way up here, get inside on this side of the building, then use new bridge or the old bridge or new connector or old connector, whichever one you want to call them, uh, to get over there and using his IQ scanner as he goes. Just pushing the same place when they know you're there doesn't do you much good. Like he had a minute and a half to do something else, which is half the round, and he just didn't. He just stuck there and didn't move. Learn from their mistakes. When you're in that situation, move somewhere else. That's the first thing I always do if I'm in a 1VX situation is I just move somewhere else. Unless they're being super aggressive and constantly peeking me like that, then I get free kills. Oh yeah, if we're going up to server room, radar room, a good pick would probably be um, either a mute or a Kaid or a bandit, because then we can, or more importantly, a bandit trick, because you can bandit trick the uh, connector, the closet wall, server closet wall. Uh, not doing that is kind of, I wouldn't say throwing, but considering that you could probably do that very easily is telling. Ten seconds left. Down to five seconds. Play carpet around that wall. Top four is located. I don't know why you put Barb there. One thing that you could do. If I go back a little bit, Top four is located. you could put Barb in this connector room right here uh, from outside to inside, put barbed wire in there, sit on main stairs, and then when you hear them breaking the barbed wire or going through it, just run up and pre-fire it. Uh, putting it in this rotation hole only does you good, does you good, yeah, Do does you any good if they took sight and you have no way to take it back, and that just mildly inconveniences them uh you're basically planning for them to take sight which you should not plan for them to take sight you should plan for okay we're gonna hold sight and they're not gonna set foot in it ad is active in this sector i would have probably used your reinforcement to your right razor wire is up and if i go back Okay, so this wall is reinforced, and I would check to see if the far wall over here is also reinforced, because you can just break it open from the window, and then you get free pick in the site. Razor wire is up. You can stop worrying about grenades now. Yep, they're already up there. See, now we're playing on main stairs, and if we had barbed wire in there, then it'd just be easier for us to do something about it. I don't know what this is. Be advised, Op 4 has located a bomb. I got diffuser. Alright, so you know where diffuser is now. My corpse like out that window. So we know they're in sight, so probably a call saying they're in sight would be nice. Good he died. That was a Vulcan shield being destroyed. One See? friendly operator remaining. Wouldn't have been nice if you had barbed wire in there and you could push them that way. Um, plan more ahead when it comes to that Op stuff, has placed a especially barbed wire. Barbed wire is Destroy solely it. used for audio cues. Looks like you're calling out where he was. 
Op 4, last operator standing. Located the diffuser, destroy it. I know, that's called construction now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to say with that. So, the construction Failed. is where Fuse just killed him. Neutralized. Okay. I will say this is a bit of a tough one because uh, I couldn't hear you communicating for a major for the entire time. I like I could see if you made a call out, but I had no idea what the call out was. So um, from what I've seen, your aim isn't horrible. Um, your gadget placement needs work on your Jaeger ADSs. Keep in mind that if you put them on the floor, you actually encompass more area sometimes. Uh, so keep that in mind. And it won't be shot when someone's trying to pre-fire a window or a door. Um, on your team, that is. Uh, being better, it's like thinking about where we're going to place our barbed wire or if we have a shield or using our C4 for mirror, knowing when to use that. Like, it was pretty obvious that you weren't going to keep that mirror window uh, when you're up in radar room and construction. Uh, so you should have just used it right away. Like, right when you opened up that hole in the wall, just yeet your C4 through it, like, immediately, because you're not keeping it, that mirror window. So you should plan on it being at that point plan on it being destroyed so give them all you got <laughs> um and then another thing would be on a tag using your drone more effectively there's a lot of points where you just didn't drone out flat out or when you did drone out which you drone out one round and it was for a grand total of like 10 seconds you actually droned within the round and not during prep phase uh you droned it and then you ran in, and then you immediately died after you ran in. Um, so you, you didn't drone it enough. So learning that, like, I'm not saying drone out the entire map ahead of you, but drone out sight. If you're going to push sight, like when you're repelled um, over on the balcony over here, drone in sight. Figure out where they are. You might be able to open up a line of sight that can kill someone if you know where they are. Um, just sitting there and doing nothing and waiting for them to peek you. If you climb at all, once you get to a certain level, you're just not going to have anyone peek you. Like, If it were me, I wouldn't peek. Why would I peek you? You have to come to me. You're sitting there on repel. Um, so yeah, that's probably the biggest thing that I would say that you should probably work on. That'll make you instantly better. And also making call-outs to our teammates as to who we killed and who killed us. Um, it's really, really important that we make those kind of calls out. Call out. Blah, blah, blah. And what did we get here? We end four and five, which isn't bad. Um, there's a lot of deaths that we could have avoided, like easily. Um, biggest ones were on attack when we're pushing at the last second, and then we just died because we had no information. Um, there was a, the one that you diffused. Um, that one you could have just repelled down and you would have lived longer, or you could have lived entirely. Uh, that's one that's gone, so now you're down to four deaths. Um, and then the other one would have been uh, when you pushed in and the rook killed you. Uh, if you had known where he was, because you were looking all around the place, uh, if you knew where he was, you could have either killed him or delayed your death again, and then you would have had it down to three, possibly. So then you would have been positive after just two rounds of that. Um, on defense... The mirror one was kind of, you were in a shitty situation for that after the fact. Uh, you should If you'd thrown your C4 sooner, you could have delayed the Thermite charge or killed Thermite and kept your position up longer and possibly killed the Maverick as he's trying to kill you. Um, but that one is just, after the Thermite charge went off, you couldn't go anywhere, so you're kind of just stuck in a corner. But you weren't making callouts to your team. Um, Roamers rely on you telling them, hey, get the fuck back to site because they're coming now and they're all pushing. Um, if they don't get any calls as to where they're coming from, they can't flank, so they can't do their job. So keeping that in mind as well. Uh, but yeah, that's not a whole lot this time. It was kind of a short analysis video, but there's a lot to learn from here.